Hey, I'm Russ Frushnik. It's July 23rd, 2013, and this is the Mobile Watch List. First up this week, we have Breach and Clear, a tactical turn-based strategy game where you play as elite soldiers from around the world. So Breach and Clear has you commanding a group of four soldiers as they go about the world, saving people, shooting terrorists, that sort of thing. In a lot of ways, it's XCOM. There are a lot more customization options for your characters, like gear, uh, lock picks, frag grenades, stuff like that. But the difference between this and XCOM is pretty massive because XCOM's a much better game. Begin mission. This is where things get not good. Okay, so you start off, you're trying to clear this whole area, pretty much these four rooms, without losing anyone. Obviously, it's a very early mission, so the map is tiny, but even compared to the early missions of XCOM, these maps are kind of ridiculously small. It's literally just these four rooms. And already I'm sort of bored. Like, it's, it's pretty dull. They're peering in. Oh no, there's no one there. There's no charm, there's no character. It's just very dry. So, granted, XCOM costs a little bit more money, but it really shows why you're paying that premium. Uh, if you're looking for a turn-based action military-style game, it is so much better and well worth it. Uh, please pick up XCOM instead of this game. You will be much happier. Next up this week, we have Sky Gambler's Cold War, which brings the Sky Gambler's franchise into the Cold War. So things actually start heating up as right at the beginning of the Cold War. This is more Korean War era, um, where we're gonna try to save the world from communism. So as you can see, the graphics are really quite good. Um, a lot of effects like blur and uh, wind trails and water effects on the ground. Very pretty. You've got a few control options. You can do uh, motion controls, which I despise, or uh, touch controls, which use a digital analog stick. But like any digital analog stick, there's always gonna be issues with accuracy. Uh, thankfully, the game has a few features like this autopilot mode, where you can actually target things and shoot things without having to worry about flying. And it gives you this cool little angle of me kicking butt. What? See, I never would have been able to make that. I'm really not that good. Come on, Red Baron. Oh my God, did I win? I think I won. Yes, I won. I am Snoopy. So that's pretty much it for Sky Gamblers. It's a really gorgeous fight sim. If you love the first one, this is more of the same. Um, it also supports airplay. So if you want to play it on your big screen, if you've got an Apple TV, you can do that too. Last up this week, Halo Spartan Assault has been released on Windows mobile devices. Not out on any other mobile devices, unfortunately, but for those that have the device, pretty good top-down Halo-themed shooter. Worth checking out for fans that love Halo, although for everyone else, probably not worth writing home about. That's it for the mobile watch list, and I'm pretty sure Master Chief is a late. Spoiler? <laughs>